Hi, this video is to show a quick Valentine's Day card I made. This card is featuring Stampin' Up! products and I saw this offered in the Cele Celebrations catalog and I thought it was adorable. It has a die, car die cut set which makes this little envelope and these hearts and it also makes this little card here which you can personalize as you wish. There are some sayings that comes with it or you could write a small note. And I thought this little lips was adorable. Okay, let me show you the materials that this uses. First I have a card base cut eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. I have a black mat cut four inches by five and a quarter. A red strip one and a quarter inches by five inches, a white panel 3.75 by five inches, a white square two inches square, a white panel cut two and three quarter inch by two inches, a red mat cut two and seven eighths by two and one eighth, and also a small piece of white copy paper cut two and a half by four and a quarter. The stamps I'm using today is the Sealed with Love by Stampin' Up. This came out uh, in Valentine's Day in the celebration. I'll be using this stamp, this one, this heart group here, this heart here, this for the inside, this border here, this Sealed with a Kiss sentiment, and these lips. And these two little sentiments. Basically, quite a few of these are being used. This is a great stamp set. I'm also going to be using the Love Notes. These two were sold as a bundle on Stampin' Up! And um, I, I got it together. You save, I think, 10% when you do that bundle. And this die cut set will has the piece here, which will make the little envelope here. And the little note card here. And this border is cut by this die. I'm also going to be using London Fog by Memento, Ladybug by Memento, Versafine Onyx Black, and a Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. In addition, I'll be using the other standard things, some foam tape, a little bit of Tombow glue, a tape runner, any size or the tape gun that you have will do. Okay, let's just get right started. I forgot to mention when I did the materials list, you also need red scrap to cut out the envelope uh, die cut. And I'm being really careful because I'm not really sure I have enough paper here, but it ended up working out. And at the same time, you cut out the white note card to save time and steps. And I ran it through two times to make sure I got a really good impression of the score marks for the envelope. Now it's time to make the envelope. Take your bone folder and if you see, if you look really closely, you can see that there are score marks that the die cut made. You bend the different flaps under and just set the crease with your bone folder. It's very simple and very quick. And there's your, this is actually the same step that you take to make an envelope. And I take a little bit of Tombow and put it on the inside edge of the flap and I press it down and hold it for just a moment to make sure that it sets in place. And a little dot spilled out so I got a paper towel and wiped that off. Because these are photopolymer stamps I need to get the stamp pad to get a little bit of extra pushback to get a good impression. The hearts for the note card I stamped those in red and then I stamped the two small sentiments in black. You could handwrite another sentiment on the card if you want it, but these two were really cute.
and then you just take the note card and slide it into the envelope. You can stick it so that it doesn't come free or you can let it, leave it lying loose, which is what I chose to do. Now taking the white panel and the heart border, I need to run this through the big shot. And I brought in a pad so you can see you line it up with the edge of the paper just like this. And if you need to, you can tape it down to make sure it doesn't move. And I'll do that off camera. After you have the die cut, all you need to do is pop up the hearts one by one. They have a, a score line and they fold easily. You can also use your bone folder for this if you wanted to do it more neater. Now take your red strip and glue it to the back of the white panel. Flip it over and put a line of adhesive along the edge of the hearts and another line of adhesive on the red strip. And just line up the edges, keep it as neat as you can and make sure it's straight. If you didn't get the two edges lined up very neatly, you can just cut it off with the scissors. And if you did it right, you it should still fit on the, the black mat that you have set aside. Now it's time to work on the sentiments for this front panel. I'm bringing in my Misty. I didn't have to use my Misty. I could have used a standard uh, block, but it's easier for me to use the Misty. So the first thing I need to do is get the three multicolored splotches of color, but in the end I decided to use four, even though I did three on the original. So I line up the splotch where I need it to be and then I close the misty door to transfer the stamp to the misty and I don't know where my magnet is and that would hold the paper down <clears throat> and the first thing I do is give it the full strength ladybug but I need to have a second generation stamping so this is why you have the copy paper so I'm cleaning my stamp off to make sure I don't accidentally transfer the ink to the card and I slide the card up just a little bit so that the new impression will be just below it. And then I stamp it again and pull in the copy paper and lay it in place to protect my uh, panel, being careful not to move it. And I stamp it off once and then take the paper off and stamp it on to my panel. And I repeat that for the two grays, <clears throat> being sure to clean the stamp between colors. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment sealed with a kiss in the lower part. I put the stamp down and transfer it to the misty drawer. And I stamp it in black. Being careful that I have cleared the lowest splotch of gray so it doesn't overlap it. And then I bring in the red lips 
and I'm going to put that on with Ladybug again. And now to do the pan the top panel, I'm stamping Love Note with Onyx Black in the lower part of the panel, making sure that I have it centered. And I forgot to mention that I need a white panel because the card base is red. So now I'm moving on to the inside panel. First I stamp the sentiment, Happy Valentine's Day in the center. And I also want to put an embellishment of flourishes for the top of the, the sentiment and a row of hearts for the bottom of the sentiment. Both of them I'll be stamping in ladybug and I'm again using my stamp pad so I can get a good pressure back as I press the stamp and now I'm going to assemble the card uh, I have the card base. Remember that you have the valley side on the outside of the card and the raised side is the inside of the card. Press it with the bone folder and I'm gluing in the inside panel. The panel dimensions are five by three and th three quarters. And I'm taking my panel and gluing it to the black mat. And I noticed that I put an extra line of adhesive along where the white and the red paper meet. So I don't want that weak spot to come apart. And now gluing the black panel to the front of the card, making one last chance check to make sure I didn't turn it upside down by mistake. Make sure you get it even and press it. Be careful not to mess up the hearts because they're poking up a little bit. Now this uh, smaller panel, the the margin is very small, so you have to be really careful to line it up straight when you do it. And I want this one to be touching the hearts on the one side and displaying the colored splotches on the other, but not so far down that it comes over the, the lips. And now I'm popping up the envelope with foam tape, making sure that I put enough pieces so that it will not be smushed in transit. And there's a little extra piece for the flap of the envelope itself. And I've put this down at a slight angle. I thought that was a little bit more interesting. The next step is to take the sparkle pen and go over the lips and make them a little bit more sparkly and shiny. And I also went over the hearts. You can't really see it very well, but in real life, it has a lot of sparkle. And that's the finished card. I hope you like it. It wasn't very hard to do. It went together very quickly and very easily, and it turned out really, really nice. If you don't have this stamp set, you can probably make something very similar yourself if you have a heart die cut or any border, border punch in place of the border hearts. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll try a card like this yourself. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you.